Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber City Today. Today's topic is how to be more positive in your life and in your relationships. We don't always know how we come across. And when we're dealing with things in life, like we've had to for the last couple of years with a lot of stuff that went on, there's a lot of sad and unhappy people out there because they're not doing well from all the things that have gone on during the pandemic. It's very lonely for some people and it can be really hard. But the problem is if you're constantly verbalizing things that are pessimistic or sort of, you know, you just always got a conversation that isn't a happy place, eventually people will stop listening. You need to be able to converse with people with positive affirmations, positive feedback. If things are always sort of doom and gloom and what's happening to you and you've got really great people in your life and you keep relaying this to them, eventually it really does take a toll because people want to hear some good things. It can't all be bad because do you want to be around people that don't always have positive things to say? I mean, think about it. Think about a few people in your life that maybe drive you crazy. <laughs> Maybe it's a family member or somebody from school or somebody that you don't see a lot, but when you do see them, you're just like, oh, I, you know, I kind of don't want to spend too much time with this person. You want to be very aware that you're not becoming that person as well because we can all get stuck and we can all feel sad and lonely and feel a little sorry for ourselves when things aren't going right. It's just human nature. It's natural. You don't have to beat yourself up. Uh, beat yourself up about it but you need to be aware that you're changing your outlook is is different and people aren't responding maybe the same way to you a lot of times we spend so much energy about what we don't have rather than what we do have if you're not grateful for the few things in your life that you do have and that you're very lucky to be able to talk about how are you going to continue to have blessings and great things if you don't acknowledge and appreciate the ones you do have it's so easy to get caught up in in feeling down and feeling like what's not going on in your life what has changed and and the problem with that is when you feel like that constantly, it starts to take over your body language, your facial expressions, your attitude, even when you walk into a store, anything like that. It takes over the person that you once were. So you have to be really, really careful and own when you're feeling out of sorts. So think about who you like being around. What makes you smile? What makes you happy? If you're talking about things that are sort of in a negative viewpoint, it eventually changes up the environment and people don't want to be around that because we're all dealing with stuff. So we want to be happy ourselves. So we don't want to put ourselves into a place where we're having to deal with more and more stuff that we're trying to get away from ourselves. It's so hard right now with everybody just trying to find their way again and trying to get back into a positive space. So you have to put yourself around positive people. Hey, I totally get it. Life can be a real bitch sometimes. And it's hard to always stay positive. It really, really is. And you have to do the work pretty much every day to stay in a, in a good mindset. Because there are so many things that you can watch on TV or see out, out in the world, even in your own city, just happening on a daily basis that are harmful or hurtful. And it makes it makes you crazy after a while. But if you learn how to, to take care of the small things and appreciate all those little things that are happening in your life and be grateful for those and take time every day to acknowledge those, you will be able to be a little happier each day. You need to break down that wall that you've built up because the bigger that wall comes up, the fewer people that are gonna try and break through. So take care of yourself and be be authentic to who you are. Try not to get angry and hold on to stuff that keeps happening to you because it will keep happening to you if you believe it's going to. 
give people a compliment every day. People you might not even know walking down the street. Say something nice and kind to people all the time. This will change your thinking. This will make you believe that it's a good place out there. There's still good people out there. And there is room for you to have love in your life. One of the things I hear the most in my coaching practice is how people are so fed up with dating and that nothing ever works out so why should they bother well they're kind of right in a way because if you take on a defeatist attitude about things never working out for you then the chances are that's going to be the continued practice because you're not putting anything forth to make new changes coming coming towards you the more positive you are, the more positive does, stuff does come towards you. I really believe that and I practice it myself. And even when I'm having the shittiest day ever, I try to sit down and take a few minutes to think about what's going well, what I have that I, I love in my life, what I'm appreciative of. And it really does bring you back to reality and makes you understand, you know what? I do have a lot of good things. So in closing here, to change what's not working for you, know and understand what it is that you want. Put it out there. What is most important to you? Is it love? Is it a better job? Better friendships? Better family support? Whatever it is, concentrate on that and give good energy towards it. Don't think about what isn't happening and keep putting that out there. Talk about what you want to happen, what you want to see happen and believe that it will happen and that you deserve it. So just know that you're a good person. You have great qualities. You have a lot to offer somebody and to your friends and anybody that enters your life. Try not to talk about annoyances, the things that bother you all the time because you don't want people to stop listening to you. You want to draw people towards you. You can do it. Just try to think about the good things. So no matter how small they are right now in your life, think about those, focus on those, and understand what it is you're looking for and what's important in your life. And put your energy into that. Make those things happen. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. Bye.